Hello, what we're planning to do today is give you a quick demonstration of how to prepare your decal file so that it can be printed and then cut down on our ESCO cutting table as far as cutting a contour shape. So depending on your sticker, your decal shape, you can uh, have a contour that uh, is determined by the shape of the sticker. In this case, this kind of odd shape here. Uh, you could create um, your cut file, um, your cut line just with the rectangle tool or ellipse tool. Maybe you just want it to be a square like that and that the sticker would just be this uh, sticker with the white box around it. I want to do something a little bit more complicated though and I want to utilize the shape of the decal to create the contour cut so that the decal itself has a unique shape. And we're going to utilize uh, uh, a function in here in Illustrator under object called offset path and what that does it establishes I've got the path selected or the shape and I can uh, give it the amount of what we call offset or um, uh, here in, in inches and I can kind of preview that to kind of show me where that shape is going to be so in this case that's that's what I plan to do I've got about an eighth of an inch shape uh, I don't want it to have any fill so now I kind of get an idea. This is what the contour sticker is going to look like in the end. It's going to be cut on this black line here so that the sticker itself would have a unique shape. So once I establish what that shape is going to be, I'm going to go into the window menu and bring up the ESCO AI Cut Create Type Line Layers panel. And you get this little pop up here. And so once I uh, select the shape, and I want you to pay attention to my layers panel as well, because right now all of my art is on one layer, and that's what you'll need to do. You'll be you need to flatten all your art layers down to one layer eventually. Uh, I'm going to select the contour shape that I use with the offset path tool, and then I'm going to say that's where I want it to cut it. So I'm going to choose the cut over here in the type line layers, and I'm going to say move that selection to the type line layers. And you see that now it has moved over here on my cut pan or on my layers panel that I have a cut shape. Uh, and that's kind of what the ESCO table is going to cut out. So there's a couple of options too that you can do a partial cut, which is called a kiss cut. Uh, and that, you know, that may be something that you want to do where you just want to cut through the top layer of that decal and have it um, uh, so that the, uh, the end user just peels that away. In this case, I like the shape of this sticker, so I want the shape of the sticker to be uh, kind of uh, unique in itself. So we select the contour cut, create the line type layers panel underneath window, ESCO, AI cut. That brings up that panel. I'm going to say move that shape to the cut layer, and that's what I just did. Uh, the next step is I'm going to go back to that same uh, window menu, AI cut, and I'm going to do add I cut register marks. Uh, the ESCO cutting table needs these register marks to know where the decal is printed and know where to cut. So I'm just going to go with the uh, kind of the default, hit OK. It says there's not enough space, so I can plot these on there manually, and you need at least five or so. Uh, so I kind of just did that manually. Your software may pull it up and pull it up automatically. But if you pay attention to the layers panel, now I have a layer with just the reg marks or registration marks a layer with just the cut uh, contour and the art. So now I need to save this uh, file. Uh, I'm just going to save this on my desktop temporarily and I'm going to save my Illustrator file that has all my layers on there. But now I've got to go back and create just my PDF files for my wide format printer to see, to use, and the AI cut um, file for the, uh, the ESCO cutting table to use. So I'm going to create my print file first. So I don't want my cut layer, my contour cut to actually print. That's just showing me where I'm going to cut. So once I'm going to turn that layer off, I'm going to come under here and then save that as a PDF. And I'm going to call it here at the end. I'm going to add cut. So I know that that's my cut, uh, excuse me, print. That's my print file. Go with the default, Illustrator default, save that PDF. And now I'm going to turn on the cut, and I can't just turn off my art layer because this uh, will confuse the ESCO rip. So I'm going to actually throw away my art layer. So don't panic. It's still there. 
uh, we can just undo and bring that back. But I just want these two layers in the panel. And I'm going to save this as my cut file. So you got two files that you end up creating. Save that. So before I forget, undo that, bring my layers all back. So uh, what I want to show you is kind of in the end, let me find my two files. Here's my cut file. That's what I'm going to send to the ESCO um, rip. And then here's my print file. That's what I'm going to send to the wide format printer. And of course, what I mean by sending it is going to your uh, graphic students uh, share. And I would just throw this file in my wide format rip. And then I would throw my cut file over here in my ESCO rip. And that's that. And so once you get those files created, you're ready to move on to the next station.